this part, this video is part of a series of videos. Uh, the first uh, five or so, we were working with the PR Boom, which is a uh, version of Doom, its source code, and modifying the game. The last two videos or so, we've been editing the binary file itself with the hex editor. And right now, we're going to do the same thing, uh, but a little different. In the first hex editing video, we changed a string by going into it with hex edit and going over to the ASCII section, the ASCII column, and modifying it. You can do that from the command line. I don't really see someone doing this too often this way, but maybe you want to write a code that automates some changes. Obviously, if you have a binary that's important, you're going to want to, you know, not modify it directly, so we're actually going to be dumping it into a new file. And if you do want to modify the original, be sure to have a backup copy because any little change could make a mistake. So, before we're using a program called Hex Edit, today we're going to be using Hex Dump. Should be in your repositories if you don't already have it installed. Uh, so, let me just real quick here show you that I've got uh, Doom. Oh, let me compile it. Make. And I'm going to, just to keep things simple, move what we just compiled. Oops. To source Doom 1. Okay, so I created a, a binary file, I compiled it, renamed it, and now I can run it like so. And you can see it's normal now. If I run over, you know, I can pick up stuff that says picked up armor bonus. And if I pick up the health, it says picked up health bonus. We're going to change both those messages with one simple command or a one-liner command that piped three commands into one. And if I type in hex, let me clear the screen, hex dump, and I give it that file that we just looked at, it dumps out the hex code. Okay, lots of it. Control C to kill that or just let it finish and take too long. I'm just going to copy and paste this from my notes. <laughs> So, control L. So we have hex dump dash VE and then inside single quotes one slash one and then inside double quotes within those single quotes percent dot two X and then the name of our file to dump. If I run that, oh, if I run that, we get this. It's um, basically removing all the spaces and putting everything on basically one line instead of having those different columns. So it's the same output, just displayed different. Again, there's a link in the description to my notes for this project up on Pastebin. Go ahead, check those out. You know, I'm not gonna explain this full command because I don't completely understand it. I just know what it does. Not exactly how it does it, but it's just removing the column, the spaces in the columns. Okay, so we have that. So now we wanna replace part of the code uh, the, the hex code with another piece of hex code. Okay, so first off, what do we want to replace? I'm going to change it so instead of saying you picked up a health bonus or you picked up an ammo bonus, I want to say you picked up a health item or you picked up a, 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 an a ammo item. So in the previous video, strings is a great, great tool to get a quick overview of the ASCII information in a file. So strings dumps out anything that is... Um, an ASCII character. I'm going to grep for the word bonus. And here we have a few different places. Obviously, these first two are what we want to modify. Modifying these other ones will corrupt the game. We don't want to modify them. So what I want to do is I want to modify just these first two. And so what's different between them and the rest in this particular case is that they have a period at the end. So I'm not going to just replace the word bonus. I'm going to replace the word bonus period with the word item. So what do I have to do? I'm going to take that and then there's ASCII to hex converters for the shell. I'm just going to use a web-based one because I have it up here. I'm going to paste my uh, ASCII here, click convert, and there we go. If I Let's undo padding. Okay, because we don't want any spaces. I'm also not really sure if case matters there, but I'm going to change those E's to capital E's and the F's to capital F's. So that is our bonus. So that's what we're going to be searching for and replacing 
inside our file. We're going to use sed to do this. Sed is a very great tool for editing text files from the shell. I want to change it again to be the word items now, or item. So, bonus, B O N U S, period. That's six characters. Item, I T E M, period. Five characters. We need them to be the same length. So, could say items, but you're only picking up one thing. So, if I say convert this, again, I would want to change any letter to an upper, uh, uppercase just to be sure. But th again, this is only five characters. We need six. If you watch previous tutorial, we know that space is the number 20 in hex. So I'll just add 20 to the end of that. So if we take that and we take our hex dump and then we put it into sed, and just to make sure I do this right in the tutorial and I don't screw up, I'm going to actually copy and paste what we just did. So now we're saying said substitute anywhere that we have this, which is the hex for bonus period. And we're going to say replace it with the hex for items period and then 20, just add a space at the end. The G says do it globally. Now we're looking for the one with a period again. We could set said to say just look for the first two, but maybe it's the third two. So I'm just that's why I just use the period to to find the two out. So if I do that, it's going to output the output with those changes. Well, I don't want that output on my screen. Control C to kill that. I want to dump it into a file, but I can't just dump it in a file because it will just create a text file that has the hex code in it. I don't want the hex code. I want the actual binary executable. So we're going to take all that we've created so far. We're going to pipe it again, take that output and put it into a program called XXD. XXD, we're going to say dash R dash P again. I don't even know what those arguments mean. I just know that I looked this up a while ago and it works. I'm going to redirect that output. Well, let's look what that looks like. Yeah. So it looks like if you tried to cat out a binary file, control C to kill that. If you ever do that and your terminal gets messed up, just type reset and that will fix that. So it's actually creating the binary executable and displaying to my screen. I don't want it displayed to my screen. I want it in a file. So I'm going to say redirect that into said or sorry, source folder, doom, and we'll call it doom two. Just naming the file has nothing to do with what version of doom because that depends on what wad you're using, not what executable when you're working with PR boom. So we did that. We create the executable, but if we go to run it now, it's not going to work for the simple reason that I don't have permission because it's not executable. So what we want to do is say change mod plus X, just like if you created a script. Now I can do source doom two, start the game. And now when I pick up the little health vials or the little am or, uh, armors, it should say that you picked up a health or armor item rather than bonus. So let's see. There we go, picked up an armor item up in the top left of the screen. And if I go pick up some of these blue vials, picked up a health item. So that is how you would change a string from the shell. Obviously, in most cases, you're gonna use something like hex edit and the file you wanna edit, just like we did two videos ago. Makes a little more sense, but if for some reason you need to automate this in a script, that is one way to do it. And I hope you found that interesting. I don't know again how useful it is. Um, I mean, obviously there is a use for it, just probably not very common. <laughs> and but at least it's something educational. You hopefully you learned something new. I hope you've enjoyed these Doom tutorials. Uh, I, at this point, I don't know. I may do one or two more on editing WAD files, or this may be the end of this series. But either way, you'll know by clicking on the link to the playlist, which will hopefully be an annotation on the screen and maybe in the description of the video. Again, all the notes for this and the previous videos should be in the description of the video as well. So click on that, they're paste, you go to paste bin and they'll just be there. And um, 
If you have questions, I really don't know if I'm going to be able to help because, again, this is a, a topic that I basically just told you everything I know on the topic. So <laughs> if you have a question outside of that, I probably don't know. But if you know more, if you have suggestions, definitely let me know because this is a topic that I've always been interested in since I was 15, so 20 years ago, playing with hex editors, but I know very minimal about it. So I thank you for watching. This films by Chris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's all right. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.